Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Christine and somewhere in here is Mr. Bangles and that means you're watching Hobbit's Corner. Thank you for stopping by the channel today. This video is for all the viewers who wanted to see the rings that I have in my collection. I've put all the rings inside these really fabulous Easter eggs. We're going to open some of them today for this video. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what treasures are inside. Some of these rings have been uh, purchased from thrift stores. Some of them have been purchased for me from family. And some of them I just purchased uh, from Facebook Marketplace or just on my own. Um, in the years that I've started to collect and make jewelry. Let's take some of these eggs out of here. I thought we'd add some pop of color to the video today. It's been so beautiful here. And I just think we could all do with some really pretty colors and, you know, freshen up uh, the video a little bit. So let's go ahead and I think we'll start with this one. Ooh. Look at this one. Beautiful purple. I think that's called a princess cut, isn't it? It has rhinestones on the side with some white stones, those clear crystals. This isn't sterling silver. This is a plated metal. So normally what I do with this is I keep it in a uh, area where it isn't going to be impacted by moisture or the air. And that is a beautiful ring that I got actually in a Facebook Marketplace lot. Here's another one that I found in a jewelry jar. This ring actually says guess. And this ring is coming in, what size is it? It's about a seven and a half. Those are plastic stones. It's quite pretty and in really good condition. This one um, I'll probably sell at my jewelry sales in the summer. Cute ring. This looks like a Sarah Coventry ring. Adjustable gold tone, really good condition. This is about a size seven but it is, like I said, adjustable. Beautiful amber color, flower. I love Sarah Coventry rings because I love the adjustable part. It always widens at the top. You can see that in there. Beautiful width to it. This is a really pretty ring. This is currently for sale in my Facebook Marketplace store. Sorry if you can hear my eight-year-old. He is in the living room. We moved him up from the basement because we're doing some renovations down there. This was a Facebook Marketplace lot uh, ring. It is sterling silver. It's coming in at about a nine. Got some rhinestones there. Nothing too special about it, but it's cute nonetheless. Simple ring. Love these Easter eggs. Another sterling silver ring. Kind of abstract in its shape. This ring reminds me of the 90s. It is a, a six. Some of you might remember some of these from some of the older videos. gonna there do a little bit of an adjustment it's in this one this is a wraparound adjustable ring right now it's set at about a seven and a half it's got a nice hammering to it nice hammered finish it too sterling silver really pretty nice ring Oopsie daisy. This 
is a stainless steel ring. This is more like a men's ring. Yeah, coming in at about a nine, nine and a half. Well, nine. It does have that uh, tub stopper chain <laughs> inlaid through it. It's very big. Everything is sliding on my desk. My mandrel won't stay in place because I've got another mat underneath it that's a little bit elevated. Where'd you go? You got some rings running, or eggs running away here. Let's pull some more out. Add some more color pop to our video. Ooh, I remember this one. This is sterling silver. It's beautiful solitaire. It doesn't look like a cubic zirconia. You can see right through to this, the bottom. It doesn't have a lot of good cut in it. And it is oh, just a little over six and a half. Cute ring. But you can, the brilliance is definitely lacking in luster. So you'll notice it when I uh, show you a couple other ones that have really great uh, cubic zirconias. Oh, these are, are interesting rings. So let's do this one first. This is a ring that my dad bought me when I was probably 15 or 16. It used to have aquamarine in here, which is my birthstone. And I actually replaced it uh, with this pink stone because the aquamarine stone fell out. Um, it's got tiny little diamonds in it. It is uh, 10 karat gold, but I've kept it all this time. And I think I added a little bit of life to it by switching it up with that beautiful uh, pink stone there. I don't know what the stone's called. I'm sure one of you would probably know. Oops, I gotta keep that there. This one uh, is very dear to me. This is a ring that my grandparents uh, gave me when I graduated university. It's got a very dark purple stone uh, in there. Some diamonds. And what I like about this is it's got that echelon kind of pattern, but it, it goes gold and then silver. So this ring is very special to me. I wear this uh, when I do wear gold. That's something my grandparents and my dad gave me. Ooh, Lord have mercy. These eggs are messy. This is a ring I found in a jewelry bag. It is adjustable. Neat abstract pattern. I haven't tested this. It's got a lot of wear on it, but it looks like it's, it's weather wear. And there's a B, a backwards B. I don't know if you can see that right there in a diamond. And I've never been able to figure out exactly what that is. So I like this for the abstractness of it and the fact that it's adjustable. Okay. Oh, this ring, um, beautiful amethyst set in sterling silver. This uh, is coming in at a seven and a half and my husband bought this for me at a flea market. Oh, many, many years ago. Love this ring. Really, really cute ring. This is a good example of a really nicely cut cubic zirconia. Just give it a little bit of a rub here. You can really see the difference between this one and the other one. I got this at a thrift store. I paid $9 for this ring and it's sterling silver. That's right, $9, that blew me away. I love the size of it. It is an eight. This is one of my favorite rings that I like to wear. Gorgeous ring. All right, let's get a few more of these out. There's so many. Oh yes, I remember this one. This was a jewelry jar reveal find, I think. This is the tail end, I believe, of a uh, utensil, like, or what do you call it? Fork or knife. Cutlery. 
<laughs> not utensil. Uh, this is uh, sterling silver, though. So whatever uh, cutlery this set came from, someone made it, which I thought was really cool. And so it's very large, though. Different indeed. I tried my hand at uh, making rings out of uh, forks and stuff, and it's not easy to bend them. <laughs> Your hands hurt, and unless you have a special tool, it's quite challenging. These were rings um, that recently came from my, my mother-in-law, who passed away. Um, they were her mother's beautiful opal. The D uh, actually belonged to my mother-in-law. So we've kept those. I think I revealed these as, as coming out of a jewelry bag, but I think they got lumped in. Uh, these actually are from uh, my father-in-law gave them to us. So we'll take good care of those, put them away. This is a sterling silver piece symbol. This is a man's ring, it looks like. It's uh, really large. It's a neat ring. Pretty cool. And what else do we have? Oh, yes. So for a long time, I went through a period where I was collecting solitaire rings before I even started doing uh, jewelry <laughs> reveal videos. So uh, I have a number of these. We'll just start with this one. This is a really pretty cubic zirconia. It's got diamond, uh, faux diamonds around the edges. It looks like a wedding, like an engagement ring. I got this, uh, I think, at Walmart. But uh, I would wear these for, for a long time. My wedding rings don't fit me. I've gained too much weight. Uh, so I would just compromise. And then I, of course, would purchase the bands to go with them. So you can see it's a nice set. Still really fun to wear, inexpensive. And then, of course, you know, that just one wasn't good enough. I had to have two. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now that I think about it, it's craziness. So those actually were purchases I made on my own. I didn't find those in uh, jewelry jars or bags. Okay, we're getting close to the 15-minute mark. I'm going to do as many as I can. This was a jewelry bag from Facebook Marketplace purchase. It's got beautiful mother of pearl or some kind of shell. It's coming in at a seven and a half. It's a nice ring too. We have another adjustable costume ring. I liked this one. It's one of my first purchases when I started Jewelry Jar Reveals. I just love the stones in this. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, this is so nice. So nice. I love that. Oh, some rings just take your breath away. I couldn't imagine how crazy I would go if I was like a gazillionaire. Oh, I remember this one. I bought, I spent, okay, I spent a little bit of extra money. I think I paid $25 for this because this is my birthstone. It's on sterling silver, but I loved the cuts, those three emerald cuts. I just thought this was so pretty. So I will admit I paid a little bit more for this at a thrift store. I got this at the Salvation Army. Love it. So that I will not be partying with. Mm. This I got from my sister-in-law, Tammy, in the bag that had all of the turquoise in it. I love this one. It reminds me of the eye from um, The Hobbit and uh, The Evil Eye. Do you remember? I don't know if you've seen that movie. It's really worn, but I didn't care. I kept it because I just think the focal point of it is so pretty. Just so nice. I wanted to keep that one. And it's adjustable as well. 
And then last two, this one I got at a flea market in Daytona, Florida. The stone is pretty worn. Um, you can see the wear on it, but I just love the royal blue. It almost looks regal to me. I was really happy to get this ring. I think I paid $25 for this, and it is sterling silver. Very substantial ring, but I really loved it. I was super excited when I got it. And the last two that we're going to do, we have so many to go through, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, yes, love this one. This is a plated ring, again, with the purple stone. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Beautiful, like, lotus flower almost. Those are purple rhinestones down the side, too. It's just gorgeous. So pretty. Oh, love it. And the last ring we're going to open today is... Ta-da! A jewelry bag ring. Cute little resin ball. Almost looks like a hat. And this is sterling silver. That isn't turquoise, it's just done made to look like it, but so cute. Isn't that pretty? Very cute little button ring. And I'll finish off by um, this ring here is a ring that I found in a uh, Salvation Army bag. It's got two cute little square cubic zirconias. It's sterling silver as well. So that's it. We're going to do some more videos later, and we will go ahead and continue to open uh, all of these eggs to see what other rings are inside. I think I'm going to do a different video next, though, to give it a break um, and build up the suspense. I hope uh, all the viewers who were interested in having a video like this actually like this video and uh, will come back and watch the next video. In the next video that I'm going to do, I'm going to also be sharing... Um, the next contest that I'm going to hold. I'm actually going to hold a contest uh, once a month um, and I'll share that with you uh, with some really cool prizes. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, everyone, take care of yourselves.